Hello. Uh, welcome to a video. This is just a little video, nothing too splash, but I've been asked on Facebook, um, on a tractor site, I think it was, or a county site, how many counties um, are in the Falklands, or was in the Falklands. Um, I don't know the exact number of how many is in the Falklands and how many it was in the Falklands, but I can tell you what I do know. I know that I have a 774 and a 754 and two Super 4s, so that's four there. I also know that I've got a mate that's got a County 654 and also a County 4004 uh, and he's got actually two of them but one is pulled apart um, for spares. I also got another one that's got a um, Plowmaster uh, and I think, I might be wrong with Sam, but I think there's another one I know of. There's also another Super 4 I know of, a 774, no 794. Um, and I know there, so that's 11, um, and then I've got another mate that's got one, two, I think he's got three counties, so that's 14, and then we've got the old four drive, um, can't forget about the old four drive, uh, the lever job with the wheels, um, or the beetle as you call them, um, skid steer ones, there's one of them still in the Falklands, and I've got a county crawler, so that's 16, 17, uh, there's another guy that's got at least another two crawlers, possibility of three that I know of on the, the other islands. So that's what, 18? So you could probably say there's about 20 still down here. Um, county sort of varieties. Um, I know of two Plowmasters. I own one Plowmaster 75 and I know someone else that owns another one. Their one runs and actually moves but the wheels are buggered. Um, my one doesn't run and needs a lot of work. Um, but before then, we what I know has also been sent away is a load of Fords and Majors, Super Majors and Power Majors. Um, the County Crawlers, there's been a few of them sent away. Uh, the Four Drive, there's been a few of them sent away. Um, and there's even been a few counties sent away. Um, I also know of a um, Ford, two Ford control tractors that could be added to the list. So you're talking of about 20, probably 20, 22 tractors, counties down here. Um, so in total, with your take of what people sent away and what's been pulled apart and robbed for parts, we've probably had in total probably about 40 odd counties in different varieties. That's going from the count tracked ones to the beetle ones to the plow masters, um, right down to the equal wheeled ones. Um, equal wheeled ones, you're looking at probably about 15 of them, maybe, um, 14, 15. There was also a couple of kits coming down. There's also some roadless majors down here. Um, I know of one that's here, but the front axle has been converted to a single wheel drive axle because the front axle is completely napped and that got sent away. Um, but they've still got all the other bits on their tractor. And I know another one that's sitting in a shed that's single wheel drive, but they've all got the bits to put back on it if they want to put it to a four wheel drive. Uh, so yes, there, there was a load of counties. Counties are very popular down here because of the soft land that we got, the mountains that we have and the peat banks. Um, basically if you're up in sort of Scotland, I've been told that Scotland has the same sort of landscape as what we have. Um, so the counties proved to be very, very good for here. Being that the farms are not always next to a coastline for boats, um, when they used to send boats to just one spot and you used to go and drop your wall off and all that, everything got drug over by tractors. Um, before then you had your settlements always on a coastline. When they broke up the share farming, so from having the big farms, um, they broke them down into smaller sections. Um, those farms ended up going to the outhouses, which would have been the shepherd's houses. So like the farm that we used to be at called Greenfield, that used to be a shepherd's house for originally a farm called Blue Beach. That farm, Blue Beach, was split up into many different things. So there's, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven farms that were split into. Um, we're now on another section of that farm, so we moved from one section onto the next section. My dad owned both sections, so he sold one half off and stayed on the other half. And that's where we are now, which we call Corridale. Uh, so, yeah, it, it, in total, you, you're talking of a, lot, a few tractors. Um, they didn't also just get moved, used for moving stuff or fencing. Um, they didn't do as much field work as what people would have thought. They didn't do much plowing or rotivating. Yes, they did do it. They did tracks. They did some fields. Um, but they were mainly moved, used for moving big items. So things like houses. Um, yes, I mean a full house, full four bedroom house, um, you know, two story, single story, one and a half story, whatever it was, if you needed it, wanted it in a different place, you jacked it up, put it under big logs, and basically build a skid underneath it, and off you went. 
The old tracked crawlers were the best ones. They could near tow a house by themselves, um, but they would need assistance on some of the hills. Um, so you'd have another tractor lining up. Now we also had different makes of tractors down here. We've got Ferguson tractors. So we've got Ferguson 35s down here that I know of. I've got one of them. We've got a Ferguson TEF 20. I know of two of them. I know of two of 35s. Um, we've also got John Deere's down here. So um, John Deere's quite popular down here at the moment. Um, and a lot of the big farms have got the John Deere's. Uh, Case is another one. There's a few Case tractors down here. In fact, there's a man on the west um, used to get uh, Case in. He used to be the agent for Case for down here. Um, then you've got Zeta, which is another popular tractor that was down here. There's quite a few of them still popping about in different places. They're not as many now, but they are still popping about. Nice tractors, good low range on them. Not a bad four wheel drive system. Um, bit light um, for towing stuff. Um, you'd have to make sure you had weights on the front. And with the way the system was done, if you're towing quite a heavy load, they, they would quite want to free up, so you had to make sure you had a bit of weight on them. But with double wheels on, you really could go just about anywhere in there as well. Um, so we, we've had quite a variety of tractors down here. Um, so Ford is and Fordsons were, Fordsons were the most popular. Then Ford, um, obviously. Um, and when it comes to the 10 series tractors, we have right up to the 8000 series down here. I know someone that's running, I think it's the 8340s tractors, I think they are. I think they're running. I know they're 40 series, and I'm sure they're the 8000 series. So that's uh, another, they're quite a big tractor um, for the Ford side down here. But then we go right down to the 2000 model. Um, so you, you've got in between. Um, I don't think we had anything from like the, the 8 up, so we didn't have the 9000 9, series tractors or 10 series. Um, we've got 10 series tractors down here, so like 5, 6, 10, 7, 6, 10, 2, 6, 10, 4, 6, 10s, and I think that would be it. I think there even might be an 8, 6, 10 down here, or an 8, 8, 10, might be actually, or an 8, 8, 40 actually, it might be the tractor I'm thinking of. Um, so we've got a variety of the 10 series tractors down here sadly a lot of them is now seeing their age and the cabs are starting to go and restoring a tractor as you would wear of, with me doing the 754 I still I'm standing on a pallet truck that has actually got my engine block on it for my 754 um, I will show you my sister ram bits that I've accumulated off the other tractor and um, thinking about getting new hoses made up for it um, if I can get the man to do it for me so yes um, very good fun um, there is a lot of tractors still down here. A lot of people's not wanting to send them away. Um, I know of the Plowmaster and the Beetle. Um, they're destined to go to the museum. My tractors are not destined to go to the museum, and I'm not interested in selling them to anyone in the UK, or for that matter, anyone in the Falklands. I am quite happy with the collection that I've got. My collection that I've got of tractors, and I'm hoping it will grow in the future when I start doing these ones up and I save up more money and hopefully be able to buy some more. I plan on having a build and build on farm for these heritage tractors to go in and be able to go out and do work. I do not believe I'm sitting in a museum as a showpiece, not being able to do anything. Um, so that's what my plan is there. So hopefully you can sort of semi understand where I'm coming from. My kids will end up getting all my machinery um, and what they do with them is their choice after that. Um, but for me personally, I'm not letting them go. Um, they're with me forever. The Super 4 that you've seen videos of me doing, yes, we are having problems with the brakes. We think we've found a problem. We are going to rob parts off another tractor, but currently I'm in Stanley, um, and it is blowing 60-odd mile an hour winds at the moment, um, so it's making it quite interesting um, to work outside on, on another tractor to rob parts off, even if I was on the farm. So for that, I'm not currently working on that at the moment. So Saturday morning, I'll be taking the brakes off the other tractor. Um, tomorrow I am sorting out everything in town so there will be no video tomorrow so this is probably going to be the last video until about Saturday maybe and then hopefully uh, Sunday I'll be getting the tractor back home um, ready to do some work so we'll get all kitted up for fence and Monday I have some guys coming out to do soil samplings and checking for the reseeds that we're planning on doing as a new adventure on the farm for up in our livestock um, and then we're away fencing pulling down fences and all that so if you want to see any of that um, please comment, rate and subscribe and uh, let me know and I can do some videos of maybe the tractor pulling out some standards. It wouldn't be very long videos because I've got the whole family out there and it's very, very tricky trying to work with two young kids, one seven-year-old and one four-year-old or soon to be four-year-old. Or is she already four? Nope, soon to be four. It's bad when you don't know your own daughter's age. Um, she acts like 13 though, so it's really hard to work out. Um, so yeah, if you want to sort of see any video clips of us pulling down an old fence 
Um, I can do a bit of a history of the actual house that was there, but I don't know the full history. I know that the fence that we're pulling down on part of our land is part of the house that we've actually got as a shanty at our farm now. There was a family living in there. The family got severely ill with a, an illness, um, and the father and son had to bury, I think it was his mother, well, his wife and his daughter, I think, or it could have even been his son. I don't know the full story on it, but I know that the two others survived and there is a graveyard there. So we're pulling down the fence, tidying up the area um, of the old horse paddock and all that lot, and hopefully use that fencing to do up some of our other fencing. There is a fence going to be built around the graves. There is a pole in there as well. So hopefully um, we'll get a fence around that soon. I think that's gone out to contract due to it's a grave. So we don't have to worry about it as such, but it would be nice to see when it goes up. So, yes, hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry this video is not very much. It's just me yabbling on. But, yes, there is a few tractors down here. There is a variety of different tractors down here, and there is also a variety of implements. We also have the old buffaloes. Um, I don't know if you know about the buffaloes. Um, I'll hopefully go up and see one in the next couple of months when I'm going to the west. I'll go to Charters and have a look at one there. We've also got the armoured personnel carrier tank things. I'm not really sure what they're called them now. Um, so yes, I'm hoping to go and have a look at one of them and do a video of them for you as well. But the buffalo is probably the most impressive one you'll see where it has a two foot deep or and by, I think, no, it actually might be a three foot deep plow on it. Um, it, it is just a good bit of kit, um, based on a tank, I think. Um, so yeah, um, we will uh, get you with that. So don't forget to subscribe and comment. I do like reading your comments. And uh, if there's any questions you do have, I will do another little chat like this later on. I would do a video of the shed, um, but the shed, at the moment, I've got to rebuild an engine in this shed. And as you can see, I can't even stand on the floor. Um, because I've come in from the farm, everything's been chucked in here. So I've got to clean up this shed over in the next couple of, sort of, weeks. I'm spending a week out on the farm. I've got to take that cylinder head out to the farm. That one. Um, because I'm putting this cylinder head on. I'm waiting for parts for that, um, dowels to turn up, because the dowels I've got are in a bit of a bad way. And then we'll start rebuilding this. I've got to give her a good clean up, um, and wire brush down, and hopefully go from there. So that is the plan, once we get all that sort of cleaned up, we'll start rebuilding it. The quicker we get it rebuilt, the better, and then we can get it onto the tractor. But I am slowly kind of important thing for me is the canter. I've got to get the cab swapped on that when I get back in. So this is sort of a rainy day job. Um, because we are starting into our season of sheet work, so in the next couple of weeks we'll be gathering and sorting out sheet work, so I've got a lot of fencing and all that to do for then. So this may not be finished until probably towards the end of the summer. But we'll see how we get on, you know, it's not going to take long to do once I get the shed emptied out a bit, so. But anyways, hope you enjoy, and uh, we'll catch you later.